guys. All right. yeah. Good afternoon. Um, Good afternoon. Um, Closer to your mouth. My father, uh, a Tuskegee Airman, um, retired from the United States Air Force Office. After 30 years in the service, um, my dad, a uh, Tuskegee Airman, and as uh, the Reverend said, um, uh, working under uh, Benjamin O. Davis, um, retired, I guess, in the 70s somewhere. We've been going through this modification process probably for four years. Um, uh, we have counsel. It's cost my parents $100,000 in their retirement. Um, they were approved once for modification in 2010, but uh, the documents were sent. Uh, actually, they ended up next door, so they were stale dated when, uh, oh. 10 days later. They said they'd send new documents. They never did. Um, uh, so we had to get counsel because they proceed with foreclosure proceedings regardless if you're going through a modification or not. And I find it really interesting that they used to get $1,000 per application regardless of how many times you apply. Now they get $3,000 per application. Oh, so they're getting paid to do nothing. Uh, think about it. Okay, think about it. Wells Fargo uh, send, sends out 2 million letters to people saying keep hope alive. Yeah, we still have your, your file. Apply with us again for modification. We have new products. They don't do anything. They get three thousand dollars for every time you apply. The average person applies ten point four times for a modification to get a definitive approval or denial. That's thirty thousand dollars for just the average person for them to do nothing. All the bailout money was spent on bonus packages and new jets. I mean, I mean, just how how much are we going to let these people get away with being criminals? Because really, they are a bunch of good gangsters. Gangsters. Uh, now my parents, I mean, it must have taken 10 years off their lives. They were 85 and 82 years old. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. It's criminal. And I refuse to accept the fact that the people of the United States and, and that we as individuals will simply do nothing about the situation. I mean, unfortunately, you know, with the internet, people don't have to have a conversation with anyone anymore. They can, you know, go online, buy this, say that, whatever. And that's why our youngsters have no guidance whatsoever. And the fact of the matter is, like if you see something that's wrong or you know something that to be you know doesn't feel right in your heart i think it's your responsibility as americans in order to speak out and say something because that is what the american dream is about um uh, i want to thank uh, the people from uh, occupy Bremen heights and base and everyone else has been supportive it's been four four years so far as, as we stand now the judge says that uh, we're uh, setting it for trial and uh that wells fargo should consider uh um, uh, mediation. They don't want to do that. Um, uh, we've met all their demands. They have, for whatever reason, decided they don't want to honor anything that they've stood by. And um, uh, I'm just uh, putting it in uh, the hands of uh, the universe, or, or God, as I, I call it, and hope that everything turns out well. I'm sure, I'm sure it will. We um, won't let the Reeds lose their home. No! 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 The interesting thing is, you know, if you really take a little look at what Wells Fargo was doing when they bought one.